Hey guys, we oh, and it's 1.30. We are now going live over on the Instagram as well. Just waiting for a couple more people to log on. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me. Hi, Cher, Cher beat Jody today. Hi, Joe. Hi, Hi guys. Cher. And Kiki. Kiki. Of course, so the three, the three stooges right there. Always together. Why, why would you call them stooges? I thought that's what you call three people. I thought like one is one, two is a couple, three stooges. Oh, single couple stooge? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Cool. Am I wrong? Yeah. No, I'm not wrong. You're wrong. Hey, hey, you're wrong, man. You're wrong. Don't be strong and wrong. Just be wrong. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky, where we take your mind off of what's going on outside the closet and bring you in here for a full hour of fun, frolic, and foolishness. Hi. Oh, thank you. It says we're looking beautiful. So I use the Kylie Jenner lip kit today. <laughs> Do you guys like my lips? Jody says they look so good. I like that they're a little overlined because I complain every week that you come here with your, your, your thin lip. But do you like them, guys? Yes, I like them. Yes, Trace. The three musketeers. Trio. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. But like, in the first aid in English, it wasn't Stooges? No, the Stooges was a show. You sure? Yes, it's not single double Stooge. It's single double trio or triple. Oh, oh, oh right. Oh, oh. So she's Jeez, man. Okay. Thanks, guys. We are seeing the compliments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so I just want to big up over on YouTube, Queen Lang. Um, she saw my video over on my YouTube channel where I was trying to cut the crease, and she reached out to me and she said, "Hey, girl." Let me help you out a little bit and she filmed a video where she did a full tutorial of products, brushes and cutting the crease and I learned so much from it. I was doing so many things wrong. Who I is that? Queen Lang. I have a little bit of a way to go but I think I did a good job. See my cut crease there? So, and I just love that. I love that she reached out and it's just kind of become like a little, you know, like a YouTube relationship and she's Aww. like, oh, yeah. And she's actually... I love that. Yeah, and she's going to be filming a carnival-inspired makeup look with a cut crease. So I've been busy on Amazon being like, okay, what does she have? What do I need to get? And she broke it down with the brushes and with everything and... um. So you didn't have all of the brushes already? So I didn't buy any new brushes. I kind of used what I had, but mm -hmm. I did buy a palette and I showed her. I was like, should I get this palette? And um, and then she she taught me a couple of tricks, and there were certain things that I was doing wrong. Mm. So it was very helpful. So if you guys, you know, if you're interested in a cut crease look, or if you want to see a couple of makeup looks, she's a beautiful dark skin girl, and she does some amazing cut crease um, makeup. And her videos are really easy. Some of them are six minutes long, and you'll just watch them and just be inspired and feel her creativity. So that's Queen Lang on YouTube. So make sure you check her out. Hi, Kylie. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Congratulations to my goddaughter Kylie who graduated from school this weekend mm -hmm. from what 13th grade. Yes, and it is actually Kylie's birthday on Thursday. <laughs> yes, our nice goddaughter, very smart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, all right, let's get into the show. So, we can't, we're not going to say anything bad. There's nothing bad to say, but two albums dropped recently. Mm -hmm. We have Drake's new album called Falling Back and Beyonce will be coming out with her album. No, sorry. The, the single is um, called Falling Back by Drake and Beyonce's new album is coming out and her single is Break My Soul. So to be honest with you, as we are honest with everything here, and I just find that just because you have a brand name, I don't find that that should save you from people's honest opinions. Um, oh, this sounds good. I don't know. I just eat it. Tell I don't know. Let I, the beehive come for you. What the you beehive think? has come for me already when I got upset that Beyonce and Jay-Z took the labels off of our red stripe bottle and turned around the white rum bottle. They were here to film a video. And I made a comment about it. I'm like, if you're gonna come here and use our people, use our yang yang, use our culture, why are you hiding, you know, a big part of our culture? Like mm -hmm. you know I agree with that. If you're gonna be here, just use everything and you know, and I heard a couple stories where, you know, there was some meanness. But anyway, I'm not gonna get into that but I am a little I wouldn't say I wouldn't say disappointed but I wasn't expecting that for either of those albums 
What you, you didn't? They're more like disco. Um, I thought they'd be more dancehall influenced, especially because now dancehall is so hot. We have so much good music coming out of Jamaica. We have some, like um, Bigs just big up to Bigs. Bigs just filmed his video. Um, what you call what? What is song called? Oh lord, I just man just a, mm, no no. I love that song. I don't know the words. So good. But so much hot music is coming out of Jamaica. Our artists, my gosh. Skeng is like But terrible. sure, it's not even how I guess maybe it's house music, but I, I listened to the Beyonce song. I hadn't heard it and Jody played it for me. And I don't think that that's a new rhythm. Like it's not a new beat or whatever you want to call it. Like it's not a new tune. At least with Drake Zone, it's a new tune. It's a new beat. It's a new it's a new beat. But where am I going that the nine minute long um video? Yeah, she's on peace and he's know. like marrying all of these girls and then Tristan Thompson is his best man. Like oh. yeah, that's funny. Big up to Skeng, yes. And um I miss a wap wap. Yeah, underwhelmed. Wap wap has gone Dream, main, you're mainstream. Very right. underwhelmed. 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 So I don't think that it's a matter of, you know, there'll be hot artists like a Beyonce, like a Drake, and they don't, they, they don't, they won't necessarily hit every single time. And I think that that's okay. And I think that as listeners, Woo! That this we one need is mine. Be, we need to be honest. We can't, you, you have boots up your friend. Boy, Afi, yeah. But you I can't be booting up your friend. I, um, I forgot the song. I watched the video last night with Biggs. Just like how you tell your friend, girl, that don't look good. Girl, you can't go like that. Girl, if I had big and want more concealer. You know, yeah, yeah, you're going to be honest with your friend song. and lie with Beyonce. Anyway. This tastes so good. So from Lady B today, we have Summer Passion. And this one is short. I like my drinks a little bit more sour. And I don't like them sweet at all. I have a watermelon rosemary. Mm -hmm. This one is very refreshing. Um, as Winsom just said, Jamaica has influenced the world in everything. Big up to Jamaica. I, I thought I would have heard more dance hall. Crazy, I thought right? I would have heard more. Oh, Jamaica has been Yeah, lick of Jamaica. Yeah. That's lick what we tell our. Lick about what we tell our. So, yeah, anyway. So, well, uh, in talking about influencing and new things that are happening. Right. It's skilly bang, yeah. New things that are happening. There is a new fitness fad going on right now and it's called hooping have you guys ever heard of it hooping 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 hula hooping okay so it's a new fitness is that what you brought here today yes it okay, is. okay okay yes, it's easy okay, it's easy. okay okay so it's hula hooping so there's a lady named mel and she is starting some a five week long exercise routine coming um, of hula hooping and she's doing it out of in motion fitness right and so hula hooping is supposed to help with your waistline so to help dent in your waistline right here curve up your body and also to help you get like freer so i guess you know whining would be easier dancing all of these things you know but Maybe it also burns a lot of calories because you have to keep time. the hula hoop up and you have to keep moving you want to try Girl, I don't have no rhythm. Well, hold on, where is Mel? Are we calling in Mel to help us? Yeah, let's call in Mel. Let's call in Mel. What is Mel's speaking you know, But Tell me about Mel before you know. Hold sorry. on. Sorry, hold sorry, on. Sorry, we are sorry. going to call in Mel. Um, This is uh, every week. I forget the button. At Hula Fit. At H U L A. L A. One word. There yeah. we go. Let's have Mel come on. Hula Fit J A. All right, let's move these chairs. And I don't particularly want to try this now because everybody going to laugh. Where you go with this your big extra large hula hoop? God, he knows. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. Welcome. Hi, Mel. Hi, Tricky. What's up? <laughs> I don't know how you guys are that inside of the closet today, you know. The closet large, you know. The closet large. Whoa, okay. All right. Okay, so tell me about hula hoop fitness. How did this come about and, and how many calories does it burn? All right, so let me tell you guys a little bit about hula fit. Hi, everybody. Thank you guys again for bringing me on your platform. I totally appreciate you guys. But guys, hula hooping was a fun thing that we used to do when we were kids, right? Yes, yes. yes. But it's still fun even as adults. And I think a lot of adults think that they can't hoop anymore because they take up one of these one of these little flimsy ones yeah. that I try to do and it doesn't stay up. Right. So oh. what you actually need to have is a hoop that is a little bit weighted and also bigger in order to keep it up. Oh, so that's the trick. With toning and weight loss, guys. Oh. Oh, Jordan, all you have to do is move side to side. I don't, I don't think I can do this in the closet, you know. Let me see, try. I don't know if I can do it in the closet. I think you're going to hit what's behind you if I can see. Yeah. Let me <laughs> see. Who can burn up 600 calories per hour, guys? It's How many calories? 600. 600 calories. It's the same amount as running. It's the same 
same amount as doing a high intensity nope. workout. We're a no go. We're a no go. <laughs> <laughs> but let me try. So let's do some know. hula hoop moves together. <laughs> what? Put one of your legs forward. Just put one of your legs forward. I and definitely can't do that. Let me go down a little bit so you can probably see me. So plant your mind. There's so many different ways. You can move side to side. The thing is, there's no good or bad way to hoop. What you do is you do what works best for you. So you can either go side to side. Hold it like this, Tricky. Hold on. So hold it like this and just move side to side. That's all. It's pretty simple. You're working on your eyes. Will you stop trying? You I can't do it. I can't do it because the closet is too small. <laughs> the closet is too small for hooping. But it's pretty simple. And you can move when you hoop. You can go down. Hula, 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 hula. Wait, let me see you go down again. <laughs> you try again. So, so hold on. It helps to improve balance also. So then if I'm hula hooping then, right? If I'm doing this motion, I don't necessarily no, need... No. I don't okay, need... so don't do that. No, no, oh. no, Jody. Oh. All right. <laughs> no, okay, so, so swing your hoop, though. But can you swing it, though, in there? No. And if you swing it, move side to side. A lot of times we feel like this is what we have to do, and that's not going to work. What? You just have to go side to side. That's all I'm doing. Little bit of movement, and in no time, I'll be sweating. <laughs> it's so... It's pretty simple. It helps to improve your balance. Amazing flexibility. Ooh. You can work your arms. Try that you can thing. swing with your arms. So how much does a hoop weigh? How yeah, much because this hoop, weigh? I'm surprised. This hoop is way bigger Actually, than a regular hoop. hoop. These hoops are about 1.5 pounds, 1.5 pounds. So they're not that heavy. So um, how long will you be doing this class for, the course for? The class will actually be going on for five weeks, and it's going to be at In Motion Fitness. Um, you can either book the entire five weeks. When you book the entire five weeks, you also get two online classes for free. Or you can book three week, or you can pay as you go. The best part about it, though, is when you sign up for Hoop Dance, you also get your very own Hoopnautica Fitness Hoop. So you can take this hoop apart and take it anywhere with you. If you've ever seen me in a party, anybody, I always have my hoop with me. And trust me, when the music hits and you start moving inside of that hoop, nobody can stop you. Another amazing thing, guys, let me share this with you as a mom. We, we go through our, pa our, our postpartum. We go through some form of depression sometimes because we're home with our kids alone. This is a fun activity to do with your kids. Hooping helps to release those endorphins, which is your happy time. So that's why it's so much fun. Some people don't really like to work out, but dancing is so much fun and you can burn so much calories. So I think you guys should check it out. So <laughs> when will your classes be held at In Motion? What, how many, what days of the week? Classes actually will start on Tuesday, so next week, Tuesday, starting at 9.30 a.m. at In Motion, and it goes every Tuesday and Thursday for five weeks. Um, so if you're a pro at hooping, you can join us. If you're just a beginner, you can join us. We do a little bit of stillness at the end also, just so we can do some mindful meditation before you go off to work for the day. Um, but yeah, join us, guys. It's such an amazing way to work out. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you. So will I get any tone from hooping? Will I slim down my... You definitely will. You'll get tone in your abs, your core muscles here in your abs, your legs, because when you're moving also and you're moving around, your legs can get toned, your glutes can get toned when you go down like this, your arms can get toned when you're working like that. So there's so much different... You, It's, it's a whole full low-impact body workout. Okay, See, Jody, have it already. All right, Joe. Well, right. I always thought that hula hoop is I put on the hula hoop, which is a, like the little light one, and then I go like this, and then I go yeah, like this, the, and it always that's drops. That's a mistake a lot of people make. That's so no way to go. Anytime you're hooping, if your hoop starts going down, all you have to do is nudge it a little bit, and it will keep it up. Exactly. But, yeah, but don't go like this inside of it, though, because that's not going to work. <laughs> so just, just do like a, a, a pum pum press and get it back yeah. up. All right, and then, so it's it's like it's like a little small wine. Yeah, okay. because you, you really don't have to do much, and you just focus on where the hoop is hitting. So if the hoop is hitting this and you move faster, then your hoop is gonna go faster. If you're going forward, then your hoop is gonna go forward, and you can just turn inside of your hoop also. But there's so wait, wait, that's, that that's level two. We're still trying to get the, 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 the like a small one. <laughs> what happens 
means you'll get comfortable with your hoop. Uh-huh. So once okay. you get comfortable with your hoop, like, that's it. Because your moves are your own moves. Uh-huh. So you can do anything with your hoops. They're yours. So, okay, so when we sign up and pay for the class, we get our own weighted hoop that even when nothing is going on at home, no classes are happening, we can be practicing and moving and dancing. Practicing at home. That is right. And then you can get Remy on and you can, you know, you guys can hoop together. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks, man. And this, okay. So I'm going to practice. This is this is great. You know why I'm glad that we don't have this space? No, I'm not trying. I'm glad because I get to practice. So when I say, all right, everybody, let me show you what Mel was talking about. I will look like a pro. See, everybody already go. laughing at me in the comments. You just wait. I'm going to get my hoop and I'm going to do small one. Pum, pum, press. Small one. Pum, pum, press. Pum, That's what you do, eh? Yeah? See it? See it? I'm very good at the pum, pum, press. I'm going to name those moves in class. I'm going to steal that name and when yeah. you do that in class, Yeah, yeah. He says, small push line. it back up. Pum, pum, press. Small <laughs> one. Pum, pum, press. Small <laughs> one. Pum, pum, press. Yeah. You got it, girl. That's it. Okay, Mel. So... We are going to practice here and fight over the, um, the, 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 the hoop, the weighted hoop. And then we will see you signing up. Where can we get more information? I'm going to drop all the information over on our YouTube sure. channel in the description. So make sure you send me the, the flyer. But we start next sure. week, Tuesday. Yes, next week, Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. You, you can DM me or you can call me 876-598-6715 or just follow at HulaFitJA. All the information is there. Check out some of my videos and I look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks, Thanks man. I, I, I can't wait to show you my video of me like small wine puma press and I look like a pro- I'll even have one hand on my head. And that's what I've been practicing. If you need any private virtual classes, I'm available also. (laughs) Thank you, Mel. Thanks so much. All right, guys. Thank you so much for having me on. Bye. Bye. Boom, boom, press. Small one. Boom, boom, press. I like that one. I like that one. See, guys? See? Well, it's summertime, you know? It's summertime. (gasps) And what we have to do, too, is remember... You see, as we said, Pum Pum Press, my friend, cooking with Shane 876, an amazing chef out of Jamaica. We need to do something with him really soon. He joined. Oh, yeah, because we said Pum Pum Press. So Shane mm-hmm. was like, yeah, who talking about Pum Pum? Actually, talking about doing something with Shane, uh-huh. because he's an amazing chef out of Jamaica, mm-hmm. we should probably have him over to help us find new recipes to make with our Nella's Tenderonis. Okay. Okay, guys. So, Nella's Tenderonis uh-huh. are... Macaronis that have been made in Jamaica. These are Jamaican made macaronis and they are actually made with sweet potato. You lie. I do not lie. Oh, okay. I do not lie. lie. All right, all right. So these are, they're actually very, 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 very delicious tenderonis. And you know, when you're doing your hula hooping, you do need carbs to help you hula hoop and pum pum press effectively. Right. Okay. So these are, and then these are, a good to make vegan and vegetarian meals and Uh they are also a lower gluten count okay which is very important to you because you get all farty when you eat all that gluten so much gluten for me is not good but i do like you can't get away from gluten so many things yeah it is a good binding agent so the fact that it is a 30 percent lower gluten count is excellent right for the Nelson. and what makes me really love about it too is the use of the sweet potato from jamaica right 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 used inside of the macaroni that is made in jamaica and just a full out jamaican made products that's what is the oh, no. when you said you inside the macaroni it's used to make the macaroni you make it sound like it's stuffed no 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 it's not so Nella's tenderonis are elbow macaronis okay and they are made with sweet potato okay so we need to get Shane I'm going to link you we're going to get you a bag of these because we need to figure out a recipe come on on. me so actually I I saw a recipe the other day because I was like, oh, you know, these are such a nice thing to make with a nice vegetarian meal for husband. Because mm-hmm. sometimes husband does like coming home to a vegetarian meal. Not every day, but sometimes. And so I was thinking... I don't like, know which husband will come home to a vegetarian meal and I'm not husband, have lots. My husband likes vegetarian meal. Okay, cool. Meal. You know? Man, I love meat. Jody. 
Mummy said one show. Mummy said just one show. Being good? Yes. You we done it done gone bad with the pum pum press. Oh yeah. Right, that's exactly. That's right. True, okay. True, right, 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 right. Okay. Anyway, so I was going to make with my own, I was going to make a jackfruit pizza. I was going to do the macaroni as the pizza crust base and I was going to do the jackfruit as the meat on top. Can you please make that into a YouTube video? Because that sounds like it sounds very good and I know jackfruit if done correctly and seasoned properly, can be an amazing addition to food. But yeah, what about you? You trying to read? Did you see? I think I'm getting old. Did you see that? Today we have um oh yes. So you know you know those um pasta salads where you have it's served cold. Yes. I think this, this would, would be a very yes. very delicious in yeah. those pasta salads. With yeah. the grated carrot and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, okay. Or like the the cucumber yeah. cut up, diced up, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. also too, I think sometimes so Remy love macaroni and cheese. Um, sometimes I think that she's getting a little bit too much of that flour and doughy doughy. So I could definitely swap this out. Yeah. And I'm sure there's some really amazing recipes. We have so many talented chefs in Jamaica. Um, I'm sure you guys saw where we were with Alexa Von Strali the other day. And I'm just trying to find the perfect scenario for um, to include um, Shane 876. Because I've been following him for a while and he makes Sunday dinner with me. Well, I watch him make Sunday dinner all the time. And um, yeah. Well, you know. And you know I love to big up my young, fresh talent out of Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe um, Shane can come on and help us figure out a nice tender... A make tender and make one. sweet potato in Jamaica. So, okay, so this is... Oh, can, oh dear, dear Lord, I'm old too. So, so proud of this Jamaican product. This is the first ever um, sweet potato pasta out of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So, I, I just feel like... Oh. Why do we bother import goods? Because we have so many Jamaican made products out here. Take a look at this one, guys. Remember this one. Remember the label. Remember Nella's tenderonies. Made with sweet potato so that you can add it to made your grocery. What? Made with sweet potato. 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 So that you can add it to your grocery cart. Buy Jamaican and support Jamaica. It's such a... And actually, Nella's sweet potato tenderonies are available on Hugo as well. Not Hugo. Yes, they are. Carb Shopper? No, they're available on Hugo. They're available on Hugo? Yeah. Okay. You sure? I'm positive. You said Carb Shopper earlier. Because there's other things available on Carb Shopper. Okay. Maybe they will be available on okay, Carb okay. Shopper soon. You just confused me. So I'm but they're available on, on Hugo. Hugo. Okay, on okay, Hugo. okay. Okay, just on making Hugo. sure. Tenderonis, Nella's Foods, JA. Are you available on Carb Shopper as yet? You need to get on there. You need to get on there. Um. But I know you're available on Hugo. Yeah? Positive. I'm making you question yourself? No, you are no? not. Okay, no problem. No, you are not. No, okay, no, all right. Not. I did my research. Oh. Okay, girl. Okay, okay. So we will drop the um the ads for Nella's um sweet potato, Nella's food JA, and with any information that we have, we will drop in the What? Car shopper too. Ah! Nella's tenderoni is available on Hugo and Carib Shopper. Apparently, Amazing. Nella just scored a goal. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, you know, maybe we should have a competition. What's competition? Who no, no, I'm not cook nothing. I am out. Wave the flag. I am out. Okay, I'm, out. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. We're going to have a competition, right? It's weird. Me and everybody on board. So the competition is this. Who can make the best meal using Nella's tenderonis. I'm going to do my jackfruit sweet potato thing. Girl, you're, you're ambitious, bad, but that's good, that's good. So Everybody when you guys make your ambition. meals with the Nella's tenderonis, video yourselves and send it to me. And send the recipe too. And send the recipe. So video it and send it to me on the page at Tuesdays with Tricky. And I'm going to make a competition out of it. And whoever thinks made the best, most creative and delicious meal with the tenderonis mm -hmm. wins a prize. I have an idea in my head of something that's brewing, you know. Yeah? Yeah. You want to be... No, like no, 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 no. I just have an idea. I'll talk to you about it off air, but I shall not be cooking. Guys, how was your Father's Day? How was your Father's Day? Our Father's Day was good. So, um, I... Lord, how could I say... I said to Sean, I was like, Sean, you want to come up to Mummy's? Because to Nana's house, that's where I was Sunday. And Sean was like, no, I want to stay here. I said, okay, no problem. That means I have to cook. Because usually on a Sunday when you order food or when you have to go pee, it's so annoying. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get a leg of lamb 
And I'm going to make the leg of lamb. I've made it before. Every single time I take it out the oven a little too early though. You know, I hate lamb. I hate lamb. What? I hate lamb. Could not hold on sand Sunday. You hung it. I didn't have any on my plate. What are you talking Indian, about? India and Dubai are tuned in. Thanks guys for watching um, and tuning in. We are now going to talk about me and what an amazing cook I am when I do decide to cook. It was pretty good. No, I mean, it was good, but I just don't like lamb. I mean, I think you're coming along nicely. You're coming along. Yeah, but I don't find I'll ever be there because you have to practice to be there. And I ain't practicing that much. Right? All I have to do, at least this time my potatoes were cooked. Some of them. You always manage to get the raw potato. Right. My potatoes were cooked. They were in the oven for a very long time. They better be cooked. There's something wrong with the potatoes. We should have used some tenderonies instead because them the potato. So my potatoes were cooked. I made parsley roasted potatoes. And then I made also broccolinis with sliced almonds and cranberries. Mm -hmm. um, and then my leg of lamb, a rosemary leg of lamb. It was good. It was good. It was good. Pro day. For somebody who doesn't cook, that was very yeah. good. Yeah. Mm because -hmm. when 1 o'clock coming out, when 12 o'clock coming out, I was like, where is everybody? I was like, this, this, this crab, this lamb is going to take a long time in the oven. What do I do? I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like I'm going to have to start. You want to see me with this lamb? I said, you know what? Nobody's going to believe me. So let me film my TikTok, Jody Jinx 876 over on TikTok. It came out good. It came out good because even Sean was like, "Baby, so so nice." And I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. "Did you guys see how the she placed the rosemary on the lamb?" I stuck it in there. She sure did. But I didn't know it had all this extra rosemary, so I just stabbed up the lamb with the rosemary, stuck some garlic in there. It was nice. A nice surprise. Please go to Johnny's TikTok and see <laughs> how she put the rosemary on the lamb. Okay, done. Decoration. Everybody uses parsley and garnish. It was garnish. Garnish, garnish. And it smelled so nice garnish. when it was baking in the oven. Yes, oh. it, did. it did. It was lovely. It was lovely, Joe. It was lovely. So I hope everybody had a good Father's Day. So sometimes, or every Father's Day, there's always this um, there's always this debate on social media, and the, the dads are like, make sure um, you big up, you big up the dads like how the moms were bigged up, and I, I don't, you see it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, why, why, why what is with that? But I find that like. You know, I find it very different, very difficult in this, I mean, it's just a new role that I've stepped into being married and now having child and, you know, it's just a new role and I'm seeing this debate and I'm like, okay, but honestly, I don't think a father will ever understand what a mother goes through. I mean, the mental stress of having a child, like every second of every day i think a mother thinks about their child and i'm not saying the fathers don't, don't think about their children but in most cases it's not to the worrying degree that a mother thinks about her child i mean stevie woke up at 6 30 this morning and usually she's up at 5 30 and i was like looking on the camera at her like this like is, is her she chest okay? moving <laughs> is she okay and scott was like she's fine she's sleeping in and i'm like she never sleeps in this is strange so then you know? do you think that fathers or men should be less celebrated because their roles aren't as glorified no, and then i think that you can't do that because like i can't not celebrate I can only speak of my, my, my husband in our journey, right? I can't speak of anybody else's husband. <clears throat> Maybe there might be similarities, but I can't say anything about Scott not being a good father because he goes to work every day to bring home the money to provide the lifestyle, the house. He pays the house, right. the electricity bill, the supermarket bill. And without that, like I would not... Stevie and I would not have anywhere to live. So, I mean, it's just two yeah, different types of roles. It's, and I just don't think it should be compared. Yeah, okay, so that's correct. Um, um, Idemi says it's a different role. Exactly. And I think that every parent kind of takes on, you know, their own role and their own responsibilities. And there shouldn't be a comparison <coughs> or a no. competition as to who's celebrated more. Yeah, like celebrate you in your individuality for right. doing right. Like it's, it's like the saying, you can't teach a fish to climb a tree. Like why should I try and celebrate a dad in the same way I celebrate a, a mom. mom? Okay. Like don't do that. Yeah, I like that. Where you got that, the fish climbing the tree? Somebody saw it to me one time. I saw a fish climbing a tree one time. Okay, drink up tree, drink up, uh -huh. drink up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Light your season, you see all kind of things. <laughs> um. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> we have carb shop on. Right, we have a lot of shopping platforms. We have where they buy clothes, where they buy this. Original boss chick, big up yourself, I see you. Um, 
do you prefer shopping online um, when it comes to convenience, when it comes to choices? Or are you somebody who likes to go out there, touch, feel, try on? Well, it depends on what I'm buying. And if I'm buying a gift for people, then I probably am going to buy online because I feel like the selection is easier. So for me, especially coming up like it's my girlfriend's birthday coming up, I would definitely go on to Carb Shopper. She lives abroad. Right, right, right. I'm definitely going to go on to Carb Shopper mm -hmm. and send her something Jamaican off of that because number one, she lives abroad. And number two, the delivery is just easier for mm -hmm. me. Like, I, you know, like right, right, right. I don't have to. And number three, it's super nice when you buy something for people and they come home and they see this delivery box right, available. Right. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of super, super, super easy, which is why I like platforms like Carib Shopper. But um, if it's for myself I, and it's not, I find I need to touch and feel yeah. and, and get in there. Like Jody is saying, for groceries, you definitely have to go to the store. And I 100% agree with you. However, for everything else, I kind of like the convenience and the choice of what is available online. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And whereas I used to make like a whole Saturday out of it and me and the girls would go shopping to touch, feel, try on. I just find no in terms of convenience and not wanting to leave my house as much. I would rather to, you know, go online and get something and not necessarily talking about an Amazon. We do have online clothing I stores I based I in Jamaica. Today. Really? This is you every week though. Big up to DJ Fresh who still has not sent me his playlist. What do you call it? An album? A SoundCloud? Is that It's okay Fresh, it? I still love you. Yeah, you still, you still, you go on with your bad self. No, is there alcohol in this? We think she gave us juice. Lady Mixology with the juice. Damn, this tastes so good. <laughs> that one is really good. But this, I like this one, you have a nice, um. Yeah, but out of the two, this is the best. The summer passion. Online all the time. Can't take the food food people in the shops. No. The no, that's something I enjoy though. <laughs> I enjoy going to the Do you remember this time? Like when we go to Forever 21 in, New in, in like Miami, that big one. This is in Aventura Mall. Like we don't even buy anything. Jordi and I are just like on the racks looking at the teenagers trying to like pick something together for the mm -hmm. party they're going to. Yeah, yeah. And like listening to their stupid stories. stories. Oh it's my God. Oh my God. Jeremy! It's like, Jeremy, oh, go, back, go back, Jeremy. Show oh my God, did you see what he was saying? Oh my God, I never... Oh my God, look who's on the phone. It's like, there's so much, oh my God, in happening. It's like, oh, good Lord. It's We're great. just in there. It's Is Lady it. B on Carib Shopper. We are working on it so hard, so hard, so hard, so hard. She has another pop-up coming up soon. Um, What did she say to me again? She's, something is coming up. Oh! I don't remember the name. It's not Night Market. But on July 2nd, she's having a booth at Kingston Night Out, I think it's called. So, but I will, of course, post on my stories and give you guys the details so you can um, stock up on your Lady B mixology. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm waiting to go and get all and my And you guys, food. remember to follow our page Tuesdays with Tricky to get more information on everything that we talk about here. We will post over on Tuesdays with Tricky. And of course, if you message us, write us, have a question, have a comment, we will reply to you, including the dirty comment them because you know my answer, yo. Kingston Kitchen, thank you. And that's on July 2nd. Now, I want to talk about restaurants. Restaurants, restaurants that have been having a very warm time in um, the pandemic, um, even though we're coming um, out of that. Now, hold on, let me just um, pin this comment here. Thanks, Cher. There we go. That's the page. Um, what about the fathers who do not set example for their young kids? Do we celebrate them? So, that's calling from Molly. D, and do you know what, Molly? I think that that's a personal choice that you are going to have to make. Not not necessarily you, you Molly. But, uh, I'm, I'm personifying it. I mm. think that's a personal choice that you are going to have to make, whether you would like to celebrate um, the sperm donor to Whether you child. want to acknowledge or not. Yeah. And I think that, that it's a fair thing for you to bring up, and I'm glad that we read that question. Hi, Victoria. Because I think that it's hard for me to sit down in my position and then comment on your position and tell you what you should do. Yeah. And I don't think that's right at all. And you never know what, what somebody is going through until right. you've actually lived through it. So, I mean, there's a lot. There's 
a lot of fathers out there who are not present in their children's lives but you know does the mother want to acknowledge them so that they can let their child know like oh this is your father you do come from somewhere that i think that's a decision that every, every individual mother has to make yeah, and i yeah. think it's dependent on it's individual yeah i can't it depends on how they feel it's yeah. dependent on how they feel so there's no right and, and there's, there's no, no wrong. wrong. And I'm not going to be the person to cast any judgment because I've never walked a mile in, in those shoes. And I I don't want to tell you yeah. what is right and wrong. So, um, Jay, Lord, I need my glasses. The children so, who want to accommodate that it's, moment. It's, so it's hard because as a, if your child is old and can understand, you say, listen, this is if you what you want to do. But when the kids are young... You know, you're kind of stuck as to what to do, what you want to do, what you think is right for the child and how and the child And you know, Jody feels. and I were just talking about this earlier. A totally different situation, totally different situation. And we were talking about, like, how do you teach your children lessons that are big life lessons, but they're too young to understand, you know? And sometimes when you try and do that and teach them the big life lessons, it comes across as you as the mom being the the bitch or the mean person or whatever so sometimes i think that having your child live through these life lessons is and then just being there for them when it doesn't work out in the way that the child wanted it to i think maybe that's the better way do you mm. get what i'm saying yeah, yeah. like the child is like oh okay then you can say to the child okay well organize a date with your dad and stuff and if the father doesn't show up just be there for your child yeah, you yeah, know yeah. and just be there because it's hard to tell a young child your father not going to show up anyway you know he's not going to be there and you are just looking like the dragon right yes agreed. i, I don't know I've never been in that situation before. You must know your child. You must know the situation. You will do the right thing that is correct for you. But I think sometimes having the child learn that lesson is what needs to what needs to happen. Unfortunately, um, some lessons you can't learn through other people. You have to learn them Very yourself. Sense. That was almost like a tricky scorner right there been working on it <laughs> whoa whoa that chest sounded very hollow you must be hungry no so stevie beat my chest this morning just like she's playing be, her be like, careful girl you nearly and, like, and then she liked the sound and then she's like and oh, i was like whoa, oh stevie, stevie. okay that's enough Jeez of his mercy um so i have a question after the little minor incident that happened over the weekend would you prefer to clean up blood or vomit what happened with a finger Oh, I thought you were with Stevie. Help! We need help! <laughs> oh, the doo-doo? That's another question. Would you rather clean up blood or vomit? Vomit, 100%. Vomit? Sure. 100%. Even if it's adult vomit? I don't know. But blood, fresh blood have a smell though, you know. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to. I, I don't know. I don't want to do any of those things. Like, no? I think I'd rather clean up vomit. I'm going to have to lean towards the vomit. So. Actually, no. I'm sorry. I made, I made a mistake. I'd rather clean up blood. I'd rather clean up blood because vomit has chunks. Oh, so and anyway, it's like let's... adult vomit smells so much worse than kiddie vomit. Like puke is fine, vomit is horrible. Stevie right. vomited last night from eating too much in the day, by the way. She... Yeah, but Stevie vomit is different from like if I vomit and like you see the whole of like yesteryear come up. Hmm. So anyway, over the yesterday, over the weekend, right? So Jody's house is an open concept house. So the only thing separating the playroom which you see and her dining room is a wall but it's just it's just like one little it's not like a huge wall it's just one little wall and then you know it's it's just it's very open concept so we're like okay leave the kids in the playroom we're gonna finish eating dinner the <coughs> lamb levi you're in charge right so then all we hear is help we need help we need help in help. here so, so like nobody goes because you know it's just so Levi, Levi is sounding dramatic yeah so the Levi runs around he's like guys we need help in the playroom so we're like okay so I start to stand up and I'm moving slow and then Remy comes around guys we need help in the playroom <laughs> Stevie Dodo, Stevie Dodo. So I'm like, okay, okay but guys, if she's Dodo, like, just leave her in her pamper, let her do her thing. Levi comes back around. The pamper is off! <laughs> the report, the reporting was absolutely hilarious. Levi just comes around. The diaper is off! The diaper is off! So I'm like, Tracy, it's your child, it's your child. I will leave. Lysol wipes, there you go, you deal with that. Ew. 
When I go around there, like, Remy is, uh, Stevie's, like, standing up in her diaper on the floor. She's just looking at me. And she's just like, how did she know to take off her diaper? I think Remy helped her take. I think they knew she do it. And I think Remy was, They were trying like, to help her. Trying to help her. Oh. And then they realized they couldn't do it. Yeah, and because so, the diaper was full. Full. Jeez, some piece. Mm. So there was not much mess. There's two little smears on the ground. But I, boy, that could have worked that out re really hard. And the reporting was hilarious. The reporting was the best part. The diaper? We need help in here! Somebody! Everything is somebody. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now that I'd rather clean up, I would rather clean up blood. Blood or doo doo? Me? Yeah. Oh, you said vomit, vomit or doo doo. This is, we're talking adult defecation. I think I'm gonna have to go with blood. If blood. It's adult, like, yeah. I can do that. If it's adult blood, I can do that. But what you're saying is true. Like, I can't do adult vomit. Like, I don't know what you've been eating. Like, that's so. You're gonna gross. find out. Ew. You're gonna find out they have worms. Mm -mm. They have healthy acid in their stomach. Mm -mm. Not They've been taking their vitamins. Mm -mm. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Good Lord. Lord of mercy. No. Let, let's, end, let's end on a good note. Tracy said. Tracy wanted to know the question. Your man or other people man? We saw a post last night and we had dead over the post and we said, Lord of mercy. Your man or other people man? Don't matter with oh my husband. So for what I was told, right? Some women don't want the hassle of their own man because if they borrow a man, they can get a man back. And some of them is a pain in the ass, so you don't want them the whole time. So you just want to borrow them and put them back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what if somebody was borrowing your man? What would I do? Yeah. I don't want to have to ever think about that. No? No. Because we're going back then to the whole, the whole father thing. Because where you were saying you wouldn't know what to do or give advice unless you were in that position. So I, I try to tell people you don't get born. I don't get born. No! All right, all right, all right. Talk up, girl. Talk up. Talk up. Let's clean out. I mean, I, I want my own man, and I want everybody else to get their own man. But I, <laughs> you know, I get your own. I get your own man, you know. But I understand the concept of when people are like, I can't bother with my own man, it's too much work. Like, I don't mm -hmm. want to have to cook dinner every night, but I do oh, want to zero. Be That's all you have to say. I'm, I'm, I'm borrow because I'm not cooking. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you don't have to cook. You don't have the responsibility of it. But then you get to take trips to the Maldives. Like, well, hold on, hold on. Where was your man selection from? That's not the selection <laughs> I gave you. Or you select this But I mean, from? you get to go to nice parties, you get to go to dinners, you get your shopping, you get all of these things, but you don't have the responsibility of like picking up brief. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> He's just shouting. Tracy asked Jody these questions. What questions? Borrowed or your own man? Mm -hmm. It depends. Is it the week or the weekend? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think you have to look at the question within the question, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, I took common entrance and I were to come, the, this latest one that they have here. Pep. So we had mental ability. So you always have to look for the question within the question. That's right. That's right? right. That's right. So that's right. good. So you need to dig for There's a deeper question. Right, right, about. right. And then when you say, all right, the weekends. All right, well, which day of the weekend? So mm -hmm. this, this question can con continue for quite a while. Yeah, because I get it. If you want a Sunday man, is a lie down and relax with me kind yeah, of Yeah, yes, you have all these that man yeah that's uh, Sunday man Sunday night broke man mm -hmm. <laughs> but then but you don't know what that's about a Brooke Friday man. night man no him too active no too me not act. a Friday night man but then I sat there man mm -mm. depend on what we're doing yeah, yeah? Like, light basketball game yeah. I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I sat there man that, that leads no that will lead into a little tricky corner because yeah. we can't bother with that the mental mm -hmm. ability right so now. a weekday man is out for you weekend man is that what I mean <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Come now. Let's talk a little bit about Tricky's corner. Tricky's corner. Yeah. What is the corner about? You didn't have anything prepared. I tell you every week. Do you guys miss Tracy's cooking vlogs? She oh was making God. some good thing. I mean, she would fry the thing. I told you, I'm drinks. getting back on it. Yeah, you, Tracy, been saying that. How old is Steve? Steve is a whole year old. I had. I. I like had. 
hard time. I had difficulties with Stevie being one. Stevie is not a normal baby. She's very active. She's very active. Very active. All right. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put on eyeliner above my eye. Yeah, but you've been forgetting to put on eyeliner. Every week you come here, you just look like... <laughs> what? I don't... You have green eyes, so you can get away with it. I forgot to put on the eyeliner. All right, you put on eyeliner. So, so do your Tricky's Corner. Or is this how you how, how you prepare for Tricky's Corner? No, I Need have eyeliner. Tricky's Corner. Need eyeliner. No, stop. Okay, sorry. So, um, Trini Mama Sita made the shepherd's pie and it was good. Thank you, Trini Mama Sita. I, I like Sita. I like um I like shepherd's pie too, but Sean doesn't like when I make everything good. in one dish. Like he likes meat, starch, veggie. Oh, okay. So this is what my tricky's for uh, tricky's corner was going to be about, or is going to be about. See, I write them down so I can remember. But I have little points I want to talk about too. So my tricky's corner today was about welcoming a new member into your family. So a new member in your family can be any can be anything like it could be a dog it can be a baby it could be a uh your brother's Psychic. girlfriend it could be you know your sister's boyfriend um but it's about welcoming a new welcoming in a new member into your family and how do you do this like how do you celebrate a new member in your family and so i was thinking about it and i thought you know I guess it would be nice if you made a little ritual in within your own family as to welcoming somebody in and like so like doing a little dinner, you know? So oh, okay, okay, I thought you like lighting a candle and singing a song. Okay, I was like, that's definitely how they're gonna exit. <laughs> Have a new dog. Light a candle. Sing a song. Key. No, but you want to celebrate this person right, right. or this animal or, you know, like you want to celebrate them. So I think the best way to do that is have a little dinner because everybody is around the table. Like an introduction. An introduction. You don't you think know? that's a bit intimidating, no? But I think it's a time that you get to know everybody on an intimate level, you know, and everybody gets to see or talk about and, and share their feelings towards the you know mm -hmm. the new person coming in the new person you get they get to share their feelings towards a new family you know that's a lot though is it yes because let's say you have a new a new person um coming in right yeah, yeah. and then you're all at dinner and so you're all asking let's say a brother's girlfriend or you know a, a sibling's girlfriend and you're at, and she's just there her one being questioned by four or five of you i think that's so intimidating Mm -hmm. Maybe you could each do a little something like go for ice cream. I think something a little bit more casual. I mean, definitely. But I thought it was nice that you do have like a certain way to welcome this person right. into the family. You know, right. like, somebody say I have to welcome the husband girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Only if she can cook. Only if she can cook. I'm not welcoming anyone else in this house. Anyone or anything that cannot wipe their own butt and cannot cook. Mm -hmm. So if we're getting a dog, the dog better know if we put down in the kitchen and make some rice and peas. <laughs> <laughs> Less formal. I agree. So maybe you could go to Candy Craze, get a little chocolate, get a little ice cream. You know, just to make... And it doesn't have to be everybody. Yeah, but you I know? mean like a nice little ritual of welcoming, you know? Yeah, yeah. A nice little welcoming ritual. That's nice. And I think that's nice for the... Well, let's forget the dogs or the cats, but I think that's nice for the person coming into the family too right. to feel like, oh. Welcomed and appreciated. Yeah. And loved. But what if it's like, like say a sibling and the sibling just has to switch out girlfriend like, whoa. Well, then that's I think, a lot of ice cream. Yeah, I think that's a time for you to say, I don't want to have another dinner until you decided on this the next person that we go to dinner with has to be the person, you know? Like, I don't want to, like, don't bring somebody back unless it's, I don't like this tricky corner. Why? I don't know. This is just I don't. I don't like. I don't like this tricky corner. Oh, games night. A games night. A games night. A games night. A, a games, games night. night. That's very like. Yeah, too intimidating. I agree. So we're gonna do a games night. Yeah. 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 I yeah. like a games night. I like I a love, games night. I love bingo. And then you can see if they. I love bingo. <laughs> Hello, bingo. <laughs> and you can see like their personality because when you play games, more of your personality kind of yeah. comes out. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All yeah. right. Okay. Kaluki. Not your best tricky corner. Okay. Not my best? No, not your best. Definitely not your best. The best oh. ones are when you were pregnant and we didn't know you would start to cry. And um, then, yeah, those are the best ones. Lord. 
what's the name of the person on the makeup tutorial again i'll drop all the information down on the youtube in the description but her name is queen lang l-a-n-g um and she helped me out it might never be too bad of a job but i have a little work to do on it but uh you have a lot of work to do I suggest you you don't have a lot of work to do your trade. You know what it is? You go from more like a natural looking look. Yeah. I mean, I definitely think I could have done the black on top. Because I'm trying to... I was I was like, oh, I'm so tired of doing the winged line. Like, I'm always doing wing, 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 wing. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do my makeup. But I'm just going to do like a little black on the top. But then I forgot today. Somebody says, do drunk twister. Now, that's if you're welcoming the husband's girlfriend. Because can you imagine your little brother brings in a girlfriend like, shots, right hand on red, left hand on blue. And that's, a little, that's, a, that's a little too touchy-touchy for me. Nobody now pay to sell with my husband. Okay, so. then. All right. So. Nobody. Nobody. Can. Nobody. Tracy, what brand playpen do you have for Stevie? Amazon brand. Amazon brand. Jody, your lashes looking it girl so long. And these are mine. These are mine. These are mine. Are you guys jumping carnival in Jamaica? Yes, we are. We still have some fine tune touch. Wow. I'm not drinking today. Did this have any alcohol in it? Girl, it's it's a lady bee mixology. She makes alcohol pouches. You suck it down like it's Big Joe. <laughs> Big Joe on a hot day. Mm. It's so good though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It is so good. It was very good. The flavors we had today was a summer passion. I think anything with passion fruit though. Mm. Summer passion and a watermelon rosemary. Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe not this week, but next week I'm gonna ask Tracy to do a little bit something with my hair. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to know for you guys. I've done. It no, it's a chair. Mm. The fart don't come out on my leg side. Mm. But come on, run her back. What <laughs> kind of fat do you think this is? By the way, you're a bump a large fat. Probably have to like creep to get out. <laughs> it's going to work. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to work. You can find exit. <laughs> Here from Bermuda. Um, China Express open back yet? I think so. Oh my gosh, yeah, they burnt down. Yeah, it's I, a I tragedy. Don't, I don't think they burnt all the way down, but they 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 had a they had quite a fire. So. I've done hair treatments over on my YouTube channel before. Um, I've made flaxseed gel. I've done Which a hair amazing. scrub. Yeah, the flaxseed gel was good. I also made a treatment with the tuna plant, mm -hmm. um, which I, I do like. It, it's a lot of work to do the tuna treatment. But do you guys prefer to buy your treatment in store or do you mix up your own blem blem at home? I'm definitely buying a treatment in store. Like I'm not standing in my kitchen and dirtying the blender and knives and a cutting board to make a treatment that probably smells oh, like in the garbage and putting it in welcome the to tuesdays with tricky we are international Ooh. we have bermuda we have india we have dubai and we have um ireland and i, and I know we have all of our caribbean Chinese? yes and oh god i know we there we there we representing now i'm sure there we representing any of you trainees if you rent in your house for the carnival i will pay you to stay in your house you know say i'm not going to teeth anything canada in your house as well oh god that's my other place so you let me know if you want me to come with my friends and we stay in your house don't worry we're not going to use the stove <laughs> i know and remy remy and her car her trinidad <laughs> what am i saying i think she lost and so now i start to like teaser so I'm like I think she lost I think she lost like mommy I'm like okay Remy but it's not she like you're using she in the wrong place so it's so funny I wish I can remember like some of the sentences she uses instead of her she says she she Jesse yes I do my hair myself I blow dried it and then dropped some curls in there today it looks super luscious and healthy thank you thank you okay okay do you any treatments no. Do you take any vitamins? No, that's not true. I take the Viviscal vitamins, which I, I stopped taking. I have to, to get back on it. And um, I do use hair treatments. I need to buy some more. I ran out. And I use the hair treatments from Alpha Parf. I like the Alpha Parf line. Yeah. I've been trying to keep up with my hair treatments just because curly hair is more porous. Mm -hmm. um, and I just recently got a haircut because um, when, I was taking, when I was taking down my braids, I was being lazy and I... Um, went to the salon to have them take them down and I lost so much hair with the tugging and the pulling. Um, the tugging and the pulling. Was it? The tugging and the pulling. The tugging and the pulling. 
Yeah. You know that's absolutely nothing, right? No. It, what was the guy saying? The ripping and the tearing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I've been doing my treatments and taking my vitamins. Um, and I'm, But it looks good. Thank you. So I'm going to color my hair um, either Friday or next week. You're doing it for me on Friday. You're gonna buy the things tomorrow. On Friday? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What what ha what happened on Friday? I guess I'm, I'm. I'm sorry. What did you have planned for Friday? Sorry. So hold on. You're asking me to color your hair with right? that attitude? No, no, no. What I meant to say was, hey Dre, what are you doing Friday? <laughs> Can you do my hair for me? You see, this is what happens. You see, when you have somebody in your family that is like. <laughs> The creative or like the professional. So what is a mechanic and you make your brother fix the car? And you're like, oh, I'm busy. Your sister is a hairdresser. Friday, Friday, I'm so busy housewifing, you know. Or you have your auntie who's a chef and you're like, oh boy, auntie, you can't cook up this crap for me. Oh, I'm so busy, you know. I have all of these orders coming. In. Don't ever ask your family nothing. Don't ask your family nothing. Don't ask them nothing. I can squeeze in on Friday. Squeeze in, squeeze in. Oh, housewife schedule, you know, Lord of mercy. But you don't talk to me about a housewife schedule, okay? I work, it is carnival season. I've been working. I I've work been too. working. Oh, don't let, me, don't let me go through a while ago what happened, okay? When I had to transfer you over. <laughs> so I work and I don't get paid that much, but you had to transfer me I transferred money. you over some money. And I appreciate that. Okay. Cause so I, have I don't a, I have a mortgage to pay. So don't go like I don't work. Cause me, me work and me have the money. What me give you? Okay, all right, fine. fine One fine. time in my life, I have to just feel good about it. I know. And she's like, "How much do you want?" So I'm like, "I want half." You cannot get half. You just tell me how much you need, and you shall get how much you need plus three thousand dollars. I'm not giving you half. That is absolutely ridiculous. We need to save. I'm like, and I was like, "We? How does turn into we money? Give me some money." I'm always giving you money. I know she's asking, how much do I need? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. You got what you needed. You should be grateful. <laughs> Come on. Can you believe this? I have to beg everybody for I have to beg Sean for money. I have to beg you for money. I have to beg people to pay me for the jobs I do them. Life is so rough. Guys, I felt so good. I felt so Yo, good. Yo, you should have seen her I face. I so good. No, 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 no. No, with our phone. No, 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 no. Adding, adding. Okay. Well, I have, I should start list out hundreds and thousands of dollars. I'm like, and that's some of my money. I need some of it. I just felt the power. I felt the power. <laughs> and she only gave me my mortgage plus $3,000. What am I going to do with the $3,000? She's, I bet you on Friday when she does marriage, she's like, no tip? No cash tip? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Don't worry about what I say. Hey, Joe, I have some things in my Amazon card. <laughs> It's probably like ten million dollars. <laughs> Jeez, some peace, man. Oh my god, oh. this is not a symbiotic relationship. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> All right, everybody. Holy but things going on the show today. We want to thank everybody for watching. Hey Tracy, so blowout post Botox treatment. Um, what about the results? Um, wow, amazing. So the other day, Tracy did a Botox treatment, which um, was to help straighten, refine, help with the frizzies. I don't suggest anybody with curly hair to do it who wants to maintain their no, curls. No, disagree. Disagree. Really? What will so, happen to my curls? It takes out a lot of the frizz out of the hair. Yeah. So you don't have a lot of frizz in your hair. So I don't think that if you like your curls and you like the texture of your hair yeah. and you don't straighten your hair often, then right. it's not something okay. I would recommend okay. for you to do. Okay. But my hair was curly, but it was very frizzy. Oh, okay. So okay. I did it to take out a lot of the frizz, but my curls were still intact. Like if I want to curl up my hair, then I can still scrunch it up and curl it up and it still gets curly. That's with the hair Botox. I went and I did it at blow by blow. I just do the regular Botox. <laughs> And it really helps with straightening out your hair as well, when you blow dry your hair as well, and um, keeping the style for longer. I just think so you're wasting that Botox and putting it in your hair. Put it's in not as strong as a keratin though, so it doesn't straighten your hair, it just decreases the frizz. I really, really liked it and I really, really recommend for anybody to go to Blow by Blow and do their hair Botox. What about um, three to four type curls? So, um, Dreen, I wear my curls most of the time. I wear my curls 100% of the time. So I would not be doing any treatments that um, cater to frizz because I would be very careful with that word. Because sometimes when things cater to frizz, it also can 
um, smooth out or pull down on your curl mm -hmm. on your curl so if you're interested in doing any of those products what you could do is ask them can you do take an under part or take your most curly part and ask them to do that me may have to pay for it which I would find worth it see how it reacts see how it reacts because um, when I did the keratin treatment years ago I couldn't wear my hair curly um, until, but it grew out just fine I didn't have a problem with that so I think um well, I mean, you if you wear careful. your hair both ways, straight and curly, then, you know, you're going to have... Let's go hair! <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to have to take a hit somewhere, and it's usually where the curls are, are concerned. But the curls will still be there, but just maybe not as tight. Mm, okay. All right, guys, we want to thank you so much for joining us. We see um, Karina is late. Just, 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 oh, sorry, somebody keeps shouting. What about silk aminos? Lulu is asking me about silk aminos. For the hair? I've never heard of silk, silk aminos, aminos for the hair. Before. Listen, I can't sit down any longer in these jeans shorts, Is that a man. treatment? A silk aminos treatment? I've, silk never... I've heard of aminos to, to, to digest. Mm -hmm. I don't, I've never heard of a silk aminos treatment, Lulu. Sorry. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. And we will see you next week, Tuesday, for another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky, where we take your mind off of all of the foolishness going on outside and bring you in here for, guess what? More foolishness. <laughs> Make sure you tune into our YouTube, to my YouTube channel, Jody Henriquez, where you can see lots of quality videos where I do everything except cook because the person who was supposed to be on my channel cooking, they're absent. So make sure you head on, watch, watch them out, watch wow. them out, watch them out. Head on over to our YouTube channel. You can watch a repeat of this show in high definition. Make sure you leave a comment, make sure you leave a like, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye, everyone. Go Jody, go Jody, go, go, go Jody, push it up. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, girl. This is the best I've ever done. Yeah, girl. You're doing good. You're doing good. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah,